So it's Mark from Two Dog. What I'm going to show you today is how to put Tiny Hawk firmware. So it also works for the Beta 65, the 68, 75. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the Beta Flight, my Tiny Hawk. And I like the way it flies, and I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to type in diff d i f f all. And that's going to output everything that I've changed. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm going to copy all this stuff. And then I'm going to move it over to my handy dandy notepad. I'm going to just paste that in there. So if I want to flash back the beta flight, I can just copy all this, dump it in the CLI, and I will have my tiny hawk back where it was. So I'm going to tiny hawk stock. So to get this firmware, you have to go to Discord. I'll put the invite link uh, in the description below and then you're going to come over here to the side and find this micro quads and that's where the firmwares are located so we've got uh, here's a tune here's the beta FPV brushed here's the beta FPV not brushed the tiny hawk 65x tune 60 pack tune so what you want to get is the Tiny Hawk 1.262 firmware. You can download that somewhere. This is Tiny Hawk. Download that. I'm gonna put it in my Revolt. Why not? All right. New folder. Tiny Hawk. There we go. Now, what you don't not really obvious but you can't use the newest configurator so you have to go here to flight one configurator come down here and download this one right here 1.2.63 you click that find whichever one you need for your computer download and install that configurator you won't need to download any drivers or anything just make sure this one the newest configurator won't work Okay, so now that you've downloaded your configurator and installed it, you can go ahead and close the beta flight configurator that we had open. And then open up the flight one configurator, it should say 1.263. And then just go ahead and plug in your tiny hawk. That says, hey, we're using beta flight. You want to install flight one? Sure. Flash flight one, update firmware. Now here, this is important. You have to click this, and then you uh, select the file that you downloaded. So I downloaded my, my Tiny Hawk folder. You want to upload the one that you downloaded, Tiny Hawk or 65, whatever one that you're flashing. And then it's going to go through this process. Okay. So now it found some stuff, but I'm not going to import anything. I'm not going to run anything in here. I'm just going to hit cancel. So that's how you flash the firmware onto your Tiny Hawk. The next video, I'll show you how to run the wizards and how all that stuff works. So thanks for tuning in and check out the next video.